Welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be looking over some different options for gifting. Uh, I've got some things covered for teachers, I've got a couple ideas for grandparents, and I'll also um, be giving you kind of like a detailed description of how you could go about making these items if you don't have a Cricut. Uh, that's how I did end up doing all of these projects or most of these projects I should say. Uh, I did use my Cricut and I will kind of give you an idea of how to do it without. So. Without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into the crafts, and I hope to see you again next time. Bye. All right, so our first couple of crafts are going to be for teachers. Uh, this one is just a Dollar Tree little, like, organizational box kind of thing uh, filled with some candy, and I have a decal that I did on my Cricut uh, that just says Mrs. Kelly's Survival Kit. I thought it was pretty cute, so I just decided that that was something I would just do really easy for um, some of the teachers for my son. I am ended up doing two of them, so they could, uh, he has two teachers, so there's the first one, all done. Now next we're going to do a sign, and we're going to use one of the canvases. This is an 8x10. I do get these from Joann's. Uh, it ends up being a little less expensive than the ones from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to use this little um, uh, blurb. I just uh, copied it off something I'd seen online. And uh, I will have it linked for you um, below. So you can uh, either use it on uh, making a, something with your Cricut. Or you can also print it out in an 8x10 size and just frame it. It would just be that easy. So uh, one thing I will say that after this project, I will never ever use... Um, regular vinyl on canvas. I try just to put it straight on top of the painted canvas. Not easy. I tried to put Mod Podge down. Also not easy. Neither of them were a really good options. So um, again, never again. Um, <laughs> I'll stick with a, a heat transfer vinyl. That is what I've read before is supposed to be easier. So um, instead of torturing you watching me torture myself, I'll show you at the end what it looks like. So here's another one uh, for teacher. It's just getting a glass jar from Dollar Tree. You're going to fill it up with some candy. Um, I'm going to also end up putting a gift card in this for some of the teachers. And you close up your lid, add a Dollar Tree, or this one I believe is from Walmart, like a little mini ornament or a gift tag. And I'm just going to put some uh, baker's twine through it and I'm just going to secure it to the top part of the glass jar. Tie a nice little bow. Uh, make your string longer than you think you need because my first go around it wasn't long enough. So I'll trim off the extra. And then I decided it needed a little something else. So I'm going to use some of the snowflakes off of this window cling. It is uh, just a window cling from Walmart, 98 cents. You really can't beat it. I'll just Mod Podge it to the top just to give it a little something extra, and it is done. And there's kind of our little gift set for our teacher. And then we're going to go ahead and move on to the next one. This is a part of a very large uh, board that I got from Lowe's. I believe it was a total of 48 inches. I'm going to write down in the description box all of the measurements for these next few projects. They're all going to be made from the same board. You can either have Lowe's trim it down for you, or if you have a saw, you could do it yourself. Uh, I do have a saw at my house, so I actually just had my husband trim them down. And like I said, I will leave the, the measurements for everything down below so that it's a little easier for you if you want to try and recreate any of these. Um, so I've already sanded it down as well and cleaned it up and so this one, I want to say, um, see, I, I just decided I was going to paint it black. I kept it in a separate container so that I didn't contaminate my jar with any like little bits of wood or anything like that. So I've got this kitchen conversion uh, decal. I'll link below where I found it. I actually did not make this one myself. I kind of put it into Cricut Design Space and changed up like the sizing of it so it would fit a little bit better so I'll link it below and it's nice you just have to ungroup everything and move things around resize it it's really easy to do if you have any questions on it just leave me a comment and I'll be happy to go into any further detail so 
I originally I was going to make one myself and then I looked online and found it for free and I was like, oh, well, this is way cuter than anything I can make really easy. So I'm just going to use this. And one thing, just be careful of if you are making this, when you weed it out, it's really easy to get things stuck to your vinyl. So I went ahead and positioned it and now I'm just going to put it down. Uh, I really like the white on the black. It almost kind of makes it look like you're using a chalkboard. Um, it's really cute. It's actually, this one is actually for my mom. So I think she'll really like it. Uh, I don't know that she necessarily needs to be told what the conversions are for everything. I mean, she's been baking and cooking, you know, all of my life and probably a good amount of hers, but I thought it was super cute. And she actually has a black and white kitchen. So I think she's really going to like this. And, uh, I, I can benefit from the fact that she, uh, she doesn't really watch my videos. So she doesn't know this is coming. Um, not so much that my mom or dad wouldn't, uh, appreciate what I do on YouTube. They just, uh, they don't really understand what YouTube is. So it makes it easy cause I can make things and not have to worry about it. So, um, just be careful when you're pulling back that, uh, transfer tape. I ended up having some of this, um, some of these jars and everything not sit on it as well as it should have. So just go really slow and try just to do it in smaller sections, like doing it almost like at a diagonal. I think it works better. So here it is though. It's all finished. I am going to add a little thing to the back so it can be hung up on a wall, but I'm really happy with the way this one turned out. Now we have another piece of wood. This one I did stain and I believe this one was the early American stain. I will put down below the information for these next two projects. They're both stained. And this one is for my dad, uh, but this actually has uh, grandpa's catch and release on his back uh, porch area. He has this little pond that he built. Uh, it's not like a real pond, doesn't have real fish, but he puts plastic fish in it and and then my kids have their little fake fishing poles you know their little plastic fishing poles and stuff and they just love it my daughter especially loves it so I thought this would be really cute for him and he'd really enjoy it once um I did not do it for this video but I am going to actually cover this one and then the next one with an outdoor proof stain not stain, um, like coating. I'll, I'll list below what it is. I can't recall the name of it. And there you have it. It's all finished. I'm really happy with the way this one turned out too. I think he's going to love it. Now this one is done a little different. I actually burned the wood with basically a blowtorch before staining it. And then it is stained. I want to say this one is called golden oak. I might be wrong, but I think that's the name of it. I'll have it listed below. And this one is just going to be so I can put some pictures on it. And I actually saw this method from another YouTuber, um, Unicorn Dust Designs. I will link her video below. She'll go through a, like a lot of detail on how to actually do this. Uh, she's amazing. She does wood signs like every Wednesday. I highly recommend you checking her channel out. If you're interested in wood signs, I know I wouldn't be able to do it justice. So... Um, but I am going to add my decal here, grandpa's favorite fishing buddies, and I'm just going to add a picture down on it. And I don't show you on here, but I am just going to hot glue a couple of clothespins to it. And you'll see in the picture uh, after how it ends up looking. So once we get it all on there, it's nice and it's cute. There's a lot of space at the bottom, but again, there's going to be a big like eight by 10 picture of my kids. See, you can see here where the clothespins are. And that is our last project. And here's all of them all together. And I hope you really enjoyed this video. It's just kind of nice and short and gives you a couple of ideas for Christmas. If you have any questions on anything, please let me know. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And if you have already subscribed, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I will see you again next time. Mm -hmm.